Good morning, here we are. So we're on the coast here. I've got this great big lump of wood in my bag here. Uh, so during lockdown, we built a, uh, a push net. So uh, we haven't used it yet, so we're gonna just get to the beach, give it a go. Conditions don't look too favorable, but uh, let's get to the beach and have a look. Contemplating whether to bother freezing my nuts off at all. Uh, yeah, the wind's coming onshore a little bit now. Ah, we'll get down there and hold the side. So I'm just hiding behind this bit of cliff that's fallen down just to the side of me here, that's out of the wind here. Um, I think we'll give it a go, why not? We're down here. So I'll show you what the net's made out of and how we set it up. Right, so here's the kit that we put together. It's all out of stuff that's been laying about the house really. The only thing I've had to buy is the actual netting for the shrimp net. So the first thing that we built was this foraging bag. So this is out of an old army um, side pack here. So all we've done here is just cut a loop out of the middle here and I've just run some leather around the around the rim of that. So that's literally going to be over my shoulder so I can literally take the shrimp out of the net and put them into my bag. I did have a look online to see whether I could find some plans on how to make these but there was no plans. There's a couple of videos on YouTube, I'll put a link to those in the description below as well um, of people using these nets. Um, so there's no plans on how to make them so basically I just sort of looked at the videos and just sort of thought right this is how we'll do it. So the net itself is pretty simple to make. The main pole of this is just a piece of 2x2. Two two. The initial one that I made was just about, about up to here really. It was a little bit too short for my size. So all I've done here is literally just use the plane, just rough down the pole itself. We've got a handle which has been screwed on the top. We've cut out a section for the top of the, um, the net that slides in there. And then we've got to cut out a section on the bottom for the bottom of the net as well. So the net itself, this is, um, the only thing I've brought really is this net, which uh, this came off eBay, shrimping net. So I basically just measured out the width and the length. We've run it through with paracord. And then what we've done is we've just stapled the paracord onto the pieces of wood. And then we've got two holes on the top and on the bottom. And then what we've got, four M6 bolts with some wing nuts and some securing washers to hold this into place. Right, so there we go. So that's how I've done it. If anyone's got any better ideas on how to do this, then please let me know, because like I say, I couldn't find any plans for it. And then the whole idea of this is you're pushing this net across the bottom of the water, and hopefully you're picking up a load of shrimps. Right, I'm gonna get in the water. It doesn't look great, to be perfectly honest. It looks quite nippy in there, but uh, we'll give it a go anyway. Um, the one thing I will say is when you're in the water and you're doing stuff like this and you're across the sandy bottom, please stick something on your feet. You've got, especially here on the Suffolk coast, we've got the weaver fish that are poisonous and they sit in the sand. So I'm just gonna go in in my trail runners. Um, but let's give it a go and see what we can get. class that as a fail on this beach here it's a little bit too choppy it's lifting the net up out of the water and it's not sand on the bottom here this used to be all sand here but we've had so much erosion over the winter 
um, and also with the, the longshore drift and everything it's all just pebble along the bottom here so all I'm doing is just picking up pebbles and you really want sand what the shrimps live in so I think we'll class this as a fail for today but I think what we'll do is while we're out is um, up in the woods up there I've got a trail camera that's been out for a few days so I think we'll pack all of this up and we'll go collect the trail camera and see what we've got on the trail camera. <laughs> Anyway, so we picked up the trail cam after the last fail. Yes, it's got some fresh batteries inside of it. Um, so this has been out for two nights now. So we'll just open it up. We'll flick it on. And we'll see how many times it's gone off. So this has been tripped 14 times, this has. I'll just have a little flick through. Oh, there's a deer. Anyway, this camera's been out here for two days. I've stuck it out in another woods for five days as well. So here's what we found on the, on the trail cam. there we go that's it for this week's video thanks for watching just a quick little go with the push net I think what we'll do is we'll give it a go on a more sandier beach and in more favorable conditions next time and of course the footage from the trail cam thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and as always there's a couple of videos here for you to take a look at and we'll see you next week on the next one